Hello and welcome. Over the years on this channel, you've seen me using all sorts of uh, tools, equipment and software for my experiments. But they are not all big and expensive equipment. Some of them are actually affordable and very useful. They range in price from a few dollars to a few hundreds and are available on eBay, Amazon or some specialized website. So let's take a look at these uh, gadgets. I think make a great addition for visual, for support or just for fun. Enjoy. Number 10. The uh, multi-channel temperature chart recorder from uh, Thermomart can record, display, export temperature data in Celsius or Fahrenheit from four different sensors using a free software with many options. It's a fantastic tool for monitoring temperature from a distance. Here I put one thermometer in my vent to monitor the furnace, one outside and since I live in the house on two level, I put one upstairs and one downstairs. I recorded for 24 hours and the difference between the upper and lower level is obvious. And every time the furnace starts changes according to the outside temperature which uh, changes between day and night. Thermomart offer more options and more channels but uh, for $57 it's a pretty good deal. They also sell on eBay for a dollar more. Number 9. The N2000 chromatostation is an amazing hardware for anyone interested in chromatography. It generates chromatogram from any detector's analog output. I've used it in my Mercury and Tuna video and all my GC videos. It allows you to run, analyze, calibrate and export data from a chromatogram in many formats. The English translation from the Chinese manual is a bit challenging but for hundred dollars and the many features this simple device offers, I think it's worth buying two of them. Number 8. The Radio Code 101 is a very accurate decimeter with multiple functions such as Bluetooth enable to sync with your phone or your PC for a better view, a multi-channel analyzer for identifications of radionuclide, a total dose and a long-lasting battery. The cesium iodide scintillation detector makes it incredibly sensitive and ideal for low level activity. However, its small size means a long exposure is necessary for a resolution that isn't great but for $200 it's difficult to compete. I compared it with the professional decimeter and it gives accurate results up to 100 mg per hour where maxed out. The heat map feature is very cool. I mapped out my neighborhood here. It was suggested by a Patreon and I plan to use it on an upcoming revisit video. Number 7. Software Defined Radio or SDR are awesome hardware to use for radio astronomy, ham radio, spectrum analyzer and just plain fun. This one cost about $40 and uh, run with uh, software like HD SDR, Sharp SDR and probably many more I am not aware of. Feel free to comment if you know other software. I've used it in a DIY radio astronomy video. Link in the description. Number 6. The excellent UT325 thermometer from UNIT is a great handheld thermometer with two inputs for K, J, T, E, R, S and N type thermocouples. It measures in Celsius, Fahrenheit and Kelvin. It also has a function for data logging and comes with its free software with download to Excel abilities. Highly recommended. I've used it when uh, monitoring low temperatures down to minus 250 degrees in my extreme low temperature video. Number 5. Science Surplus makes and sells these uh, very good visible spectrometer I have used many times in the past. The grading can be changed for better resolution or wider spectrum. I've shown how to calibrate such a spectrometer and used it to identify various salts and ions, link in the description. For less than $200, these visible spectrometers are extremely useful when validating presence or absence of many elements in an amateur lab setting without the need for far more expensive equipment. Not only that, but this unit comes with a software that includes a full library of emission lines at different ionization state. So overall, a very good item. Number 4. Water quality is a must when doing analysis, so getting a rough idea of how much crap is in the water is always beneficial and time saving. Before injecting unknown sample in delicate instrument, I check them with this uh, cheap and dirty conductivity meter. It is not perfect, 
but it gets the job done. And I know I can rely on the results every time. It can show the actual conductivity, temperature, and a rough estimate of the total ionic content in PPM. Although really useful in the field, this uh, device does not refresh in uh, real time. And that could be a real pain if you're trying to monitor the increase in conductivity or concentration of uh, carbon dioxide, for example, in water when bubbling that gas in it. But uh, given this thing's usefulness and its price, it's a pretty good trade. Number three, DI1100 data acquisition module from DataQ is a simple four channel analog recorder or analog to digital converter. It can monitor four analog inputs, but unlike the multi thermometer chart recorder, the input can be anything with an analog output, like a pressure sensor, a vacuum gauge, a flow meter, gag counter, gas sensor, vibration detector, and much more. The uh, free Windex software offers many options and setup depending on your applications. For example, here I have my uh, vacuum gauge monitoring the uh, vacuum chamber. The reading can be displayed on the computer and the level of uh, vacuum can be plotted on the chart recorder. Now this is a basic module, but there is more options with more input capability. But for $59, it's an investment I do not regret. And I will use a similar device on an upcoming video. Number two, getting data from the experiment is great, but uh, what if you could not be around the experiment as it happened? Such was the case in the high altitude balloon video. The following data loggers can all be in this category and I have a very special folder for them on my PC. I've covered them in the high altitude balloon video, but I uh, recently took advantage of an overseas trip to uh, stash the Geiger counter and the EMF recorder in my luggage. As you would expect, the uh, Geiger counter recorded the initial X-ray scan and the entire flight at about uh, 0.3 milliram per hour on average. Interestingly, it seems like every ground communication were detected on the EMF recorder. Each update from the plane can be seen on the green charts here. Some of these uh, devices did not function properly during flight or simply did not trigger. That is a failure I really want to correct, but uh, all of these data loggers offer excellent features and uh, work very well when used as intended. Number one. Thermal imaging is a special brand of cool. It really adds a visual to things that can't be seen and goes beyond numbers and charts. The world around us reveal heat transfer and hidden clues that would be missed without, like the heating effect of kinetic energy. Anyone can use it and figure out the simple functions of this camera. I've used it in many videos and it's a powerful visual addition to illustrate hot and cold spots in experiments and projects. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short list of science gadgets. Feel free to comment and add your own suggestions. So this is probably not your first YouTube video and you know what to do. Thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you want. Patreon, bell, share. I hope to see you again on the next one. And thank you for watching. Damn it.